Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of McCormick's Vanilla Flavored Vodka. According to the label, it is 30% alcohol by volume, 60 proof. Uh, made with uh, quadruple distilled from American grain and natural flavor. And that's about all they're really boasting about anything here. 750 mil bottle. That's about all. Now, the reason why, in case you ever were wondering why they say whether it's been triple dispilled or quadruple dispilled or on and on and on and on and on, the more you distill vodka, the clearer and better it, it gets. One of the critters roaming around here, sneaking up on me. Looking for vodka. Crazy. Anyways. So, yeah, the more it's distilled, the usually the more expensive it gets. And usually, well, theoretically, the better the flavors, because more of the contaminants come out. So, is it the case? Really, it's up to the person who's trying it. You may find one that's been distilled tons of times and is absolutely garbage in a bottle. You may find another one that's been hardly ever, or, you know, a low number distilled. Maybe fantastic. Is four times a good number? I honestly don't know. I should, but I don't. I know more than two is good. So presumably four is better, but then again, I'm not sure what the a good tasteful vodka would be and how many times it's been distilled. Plastic top, no cork, just screw on. There we go. Now, the problem I have with vodka and giving it a review is that really vodka has always been taught to me or presented to me to taste like nothing. And the more nothing it tastes like, the better it is. And I find this to be a very odd dichotomy when you're looking for taste in something you're trying to drink. So why do you want nothing in your glass that will get you hammered when you can have water and not get the headache the next day? i finding it very confusing. We'll give this a swirl. For those of you in, in the back row, the purpose of the swirl is multifold. One, you look sophisticated. Oh, yes. Critters again. Two, when you bring the solution, your whether it's whiskey or in this case vodka, up the side of the glass, you then can look to see that you get that line that goes around, and the faster it cracks and starts to come down, legs or tears, as I like to call it, the faster it goes, the less sugar is left in solution, which means less sweetness into it, more watery mouthfeel. The longer it sticks the greater the sugar, you know, that sort of thing. Now, when we're looking at vodka, and you say, well, but, you know, it's made out of potatoes. What kind of sugar are you doing here? Potatoes are full of starch. Starch turns into sugar. There you go. As well as the fact that you will add some sugar, depending on the, the, the distiller, and what types of sugar is added. Now, not all vodka is made out of potatoes. I know, stunning. But still, it is a style of distillation that creates a vodka, not necessarily if it has potatoes in it or not. And I was a big, oh, was vodka, only potatoes. Yeah, no. So we take this McCormick, and we wait, and it's starting to crack. There it goes. Starting to lag or cry. So it's going to be thick on a palate. But then again, then again, it looks to be looks to be sweet. Now, sadly, the swirl test is not entirely accurate. But you know, makes it look like you know what you're doing. Maybe, sort of, kind of. The other reason why for this world is that. 
the solution up the side of the glass sticks and then you get surface to air increases so even though the surface is really just here it now is actually up the side of the glass and down here as it evaporates because if the glass narrow see like like a funnel you see a little it gets narrower to the top focus it for your nose you get much more of a better smell out of it I smell plants. If you could give the color green a smell, there you go. I smell that in this. And then there's something heavy. And I think that's the, the vanilla that's coming out. So, but it's not heavily there it's there but it's not beating you in the face now McCormick brand has a I want to call it a low the regular line and then they have a higher line and it's called 360 or 360 degrees and it's to promote um, environmental you know what we get out of the ground it's in our whatever and recycles out and everything's recyclable here and are we grand also so it's a higher believed to be a higher grade of product so there is a 360 vanilla which uses real madagascar vanilla and they promote that the problem is that most vanilla comes out of madagascar so this is just regular plain old vanilla which means it comes out of madagascar the other stuff it's madagascar vanilla that's why we charge so much. Hi, right, now we have neighbors and on top of critters. So it's much more of a matter of marketing and cost analysis between the two. And that's what I thought where it would end. But when I compared it to this particular vanilla, you get much more of a vanilla smell out of it. So there presumably is more vanilla in the 360. But the flavors flip. Much more of a nose on the 360, less flavor, less nose on the, the McCormick Standard, greater flavor. So be careful in marketing what you buy. It's always worth, worth doing a side-by-side. -side. But yeah, green, green and vanilla. has a bitter towards the back end I expected it to be thick it's not thick it's watery on the palate flavor comes out light on the palate then you start getting this kind of a muted vanilla into a bittery uh, vanilla fades get a bit, a bit of bitterness to it and then the bitter grows in the back of the palate It starts off nice. There's no real burn to it. There's no real bite to it. It's very tame, especially it's, what is it here? Um, man, it's getting old, it's gotta go. Uh, 60 proof. So it's it would be a light or lower alcohol to say a whiskey or a bourbon. It's still grown up level, but mm, it's light. So, yeah, it's the the nose is green, if you will. The palate's light, uh, a little bit of bitter, a little bit of vanilla e in there, makes it kind of nice. Uh, all in all, okay. On ice, you start losing more of these different uniquenesses about it which is you start losing the vanilla you start losing the bitter uh it's pretty much a what obviously a watered down version of what i'm declaring right now so is this a plus is this a minus well frankly 
if you just you really don't want to get hammered but you do want something adult related this is the way to go it's nice and light for say summertime this would be a great out of the fridge out of the freezer even summertime drink if you're just going to sit and sip and just mellow it out what I think is great for like it's standing by itself it's eh, it's okay uh, it's price wise you look at the price you look at the other vodkas McCormick says everything you need to know literally by the the price and it is much more lower shelf I'm not saying low shelf is bad but lower shelf level so that you can expect from it so this all may sound bleak for McCormick vanilla add it to your cocktail wonderful it plays well with others whether it is a fruity drink, whether it is a cola, whether it's a cheap cola, whether it's a, a special hand-done cream soda that's like, you know, $5 for just a little bottle type thing. McCormick Vanilla, at least, enhances it. You get the, the alcohol to it to make it a nice adult level to it. The flavors, because they're so light, immediately fade to the back and just plays a support role over no matter what main flavors come out of your cocktail. The vanilla is there enough to help shave off any of the hard edges and makes it all a very pleasant bind, a unifier of the flavors. And just about every cocktail I've had this stuff in now that's about the 360. The 360 does as good of a job. No, it does not. It smells great. But since the level of vanilla is less than, I believe that deters it from being a good cocktail vodka. Even though it is a higher priced vodka. This, the regular McCormick bottom shelf stuff, should be in everyone's, in my opinion, should be in everyone's. A bar because that vanilla is just enough and the vodka flavors are down just enough that it all rolls together well it's a great binder see what you guys think like I said, as a standalone uh, you know take it or leave it but cocktail wise I think you can't go wrong and for the price and throw it in your cocktail you really can't go wrong so, this is McCormick Vodka Vanilla. Any comments about this down below, be warmly accepted, as always. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it. Hey, tell me I'm wrong. I'm, I'm fine with that. No one, we all don't need to have the same opinion. Different opinions make the world go round. So, if you like it, great. If you don't, great. Put it down, let everybody know. Or better yet, go out, buy it, and try it. And do a review on the YouTube Spears community. And let the rest of us think... Well, think, know what you think of McCormick Vanilla Vodka. And yeah, like I said, very good in cocktails. Now time to throw this into a cola and a little bit of ice and um, send us on a merry way. Until next time, guys, keep on drinking.